Hello and welcome to the review of Group F of this year's Champions League, which of course is then part six of my jersey. Ah, this was a tough one to choose which jersey to wear. Um, I know in part one I didn't really care about it, I just went with Barcelona jersey without looking at the teams and then it kind of went off that I chose something. Yeah, here with Manchester City, we have Lyon, those are the two big teams. Shall I put a France jersey? Something I decided on the Argentina jersey. First of all, these are the colors of Manchester City. And of course, Argentina. Aguero is probably the biggest star in this group. I might be wrong, maybe De Bruyne. I should have put a Belgium jersey. It also might have been halfway between England and us. Anyway, I have Argentina for this one. <laughs> Excuse me for not thinking too much about it. Okay, let's get right to it. Um, we've already seen the Manchester City uh, home jersey in my Premier League review. It is a little bit like the France jersey, just reverse colors, uh, sleeve. Yeah, no, it's not quite the same colors. So yeah, it's okay. It's not super exciting, but you know, it has the same button as the France jersey. I think I gave the seven stars. It's uh, France jersey is eight. This is not quite as good. I really, really liked the Manchester City away jersey, the navy blue with the light blue and the green stripes. Really great jersey. Uh, I love that one. I gave these nine stars. I don't quite understand the light green, but this is a fine, fine, fine looking jersey. Uh, really looking forward. I haven't seen this in action yet. I'm really looking forward to see it. The one jersey we haven't looked at is, of course, the third jersey which was recently issued which also looks quite nice but i don't understand the colors here totally but the purple with the orange sash you know i'm a sucker for the sash honestly uh, especially if it goes through the crest uh, that looks pretty nice and i think i've seen similar manchester city jerseys before manchester city is one that has not super well-defined away jerseys or alternate jerseys so this one fits a little bit in that cat category uh, it also has the area around the Etihad Stadium um, printed onto it like almost all the other fur kits by Nike um, I don't know maybe it's because I don't have too much attachment to Manchester City or not, not necessarily attachment but you know nothing in the back of my mind how it should look. Yes, it has not much to do with the club colors. Um, so that will lead to deductions. I don't like the monochromatic crest that much, but I think this is the design overall looks really smart. And therefore I like it. I think this is a seven star for me. Um, the second highest ranked team is Shakhtar Donetsk. And Shakhtar Donetsk always has the trouble with the, you know, orange and black stripes. But this time they did something really cool here. You see the red. They used the template, the Nike template from 2016 or 17, one of those two, with the kind of band in blue going around and then the black stripes fade into blue and then black again. Usually I would kill them for that, but uh, given that uh, Schacht is a mining town, this gives a kind of a metallic feel to the black stripe and something interesting to look at. It doesn't make the kit jump at me that horribly. I never really liked, I like orange shirts, but orange and black, that was a combination I just never liked. But here, this is cool. Uh, the sponsor is maybe a little bit too clunky, especially since the square is much bigger than the rest. So yeah, uh, that's for me a downside. But I think I still, despite, I never, a big, I actually like when Shakhtar does well. There's something about it that I like, but I never liked the kit. And for that, yeah, I'm gonna give this, uh, Why does I see? Let's give it seven stars because there's a really nice touch. This metallic feel that you get through the blue. Um, the away jersey is the Frankfurt jersey that we saw. Honestly, I it doesn't do much to me. Uh, for this, I think I gave it four with Frankfurt. Uh, again, it play tries to play a little bit with the metallic, but nah, this is just a four star. Sorry to say. I like the Lyon home jersey quite some. Lyon 
is uh, one team that usually has really interesting jerseys and this one, although it's a template by Adidas, the red shoulder yoke and the blue stripe, really really well done. Then you have the white, uh, the blue on the sponsor on the white with the side stripes. The side stripes I wish maybe that they would have either the France pattern, blue, red, blue or red, red, blue, red, something like that. That would have made it even better but overall really really nice shirt i think i gave this an eight star rating when i looked at it let me check at this yes it's an eight star i even like the um, away jersey quite a lot yes it's the template again but i like the colors the navy blue with the orange on um, yeah i think it's orange if it was red i think i would uh, rate it higher but it's still a really nice looking shirt honestly um, so I give this a 7. And then they issued a third jersey, also in orange with blue, so kind of reversing it, and yeah, of course, with the Condivo template. Um, we, I have to do a count on how many Adidas teams use this template. We saw it at the World Cup, where most of the time it was used well, but now it gets a little bit too much. Again, I don't like the orange, but this is, of course, the kit they beat uh, last week, Manchester City in. So, yeah, it's not... It's not outstanding, but I think it's still a good looking kit. Um, is it as good as the dark blue one? I don't think. I think this is just, I would still give it a six. I think that's uh, quite right. And then the last team in this one is Hoffenheim. And I'm sorry, Hoffenheim just doesn't sound like Champions League to me. Really, really not. I'm just pulling out my ratings. I think I have it in the head, but I just want to. Yes, exactly. The Hoffenheim home kit in blue makes sense. Uh, it reminds me a little bit about the Nike 2016 template that Lotto more or less copied here. Um, except for the sleeve cuffs, which you don't see here. Uh, I like that the sponsor, uh, of course, SAP is a big uh, I think company management software that uh, the founder is also now the president of Hoffenheim and he's pumping the money in there. Uh, you know, the Hoffenheim crest is a typically mid-level German team crest. It's nothing exciting, but it's also not that bad. So I stick with my six stars here. They could have done maybe something better. Then the third jersey in white with a little bit of black. The sponsor over, yeah, it tries a little bit too much. So I think I stick with the three stars here too. I wish that there was more blue instead of black. And then lastly, we have the dark red um, third kit, which does nothing to me. Absolutely. The colors are nice. It's Roma colors, but it's not Hoffenheim colors. Again, three stars. Yeah, I kept this short. I told you Hoffenheim. It doesn't sound Champions League to me. I still cannot get over the fact that they are the Champions League, but yeah, they deserved it. If you finish fourth, in the league, you deserve being there. Well, let me know what you thought about versus whether you agree with my assessments here. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.